Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen. This workout today is gonna be a fun one. We're gonna do a compound strength workout. We're gonna do three exercises for three rounds, 45 seconds of work with 15 seconds in between. And then in between each of those circuits, I'm gonna throw in a three minute AMRAP. As many rounds as possible, I'll give you three different cardio exercises for 10 reps each, and you'll do as many rounds as you can in that three minute period. So a nice little high intensity interval. You're gonna require a variety of dumbbells for the workout today, and here are the ones that I have used. Lift within your abilities. I'll start you with a warm up and end with the cool down. Are you subscribed to this channel? Could you do me a favor and be subscribed? That helps propel this channel into the algorithm even more. You could turn on the bell and it turns on your notifications and alerts you when a new workout is up. So it's brilliant, really. <laughs> All right, thanks for that. Are you ready to do today's workout? Me too, let's do it. Maybe intervals on the watch there. All right, warming things up. Let's just start, let's start by doing a little heel dig here. I wanna increase blood flow, okay? Lots of compound moves, which mean multi-muscle, multi-joint. We got a lot going on, so we need it all warm. <laughs> we need it all warm and ready to go. Those little three minute intervals are gonna be hardy though, I'll tell you that much right now. I don't know what they're gonna be yet, but they're gonna be tough. <laughs> I'll be making those up as I go, go along, so let's just see what comes out of the old think tank, shall we? <laughs> okay, here we go. In three, two, one, good. Let's do a little front lunge, low, lift, sink in there for a second, stretching through that hip flexor here, nice. Switching sides, other side, and low. Big stretch. And switch again. One more each side. And switch. Very good. Take it wide and tap the toes. Alternate. more here and I want you to just camp out on this side here. Okay, knees are soft and you're just hinging at the waist, stretching through that hamstring a little bit. Very good. And let's walk it to the other side. Try to bring your chest down towards your thigh. And now in the center, I'm just going to hold those elbows, a little gentle side to side rock here. Oh. I love that stretch on the hammies to waken things up. Good, and into a side to side lunge. If you can't get down low like this, just stay up higher and rock side to side. One more here. Nice. All right, let's go into a squat with a front kick and you'll alternate. Two more here. Good, and circles for the arms. Switch directions. And torso turn to finish. Draw that elbow across, stretching that middle back a little bit. Very 
Very good. All right, we'll start with the compound strength. Remember, in between, after each circuit of three, we're gonna hit three minutes of that AMRAP. We're gonna start with that sumo squat curl press. I think I'll start with 12s. Okay, you're gonna pulse in the sumo squat. So we're gonna pulse down to the bottom, curl, press right there. So drop it low, pulse, curl, press. That's it. And squat, pulse, curl, press. Nice. Try to keep that back super tall on the pulse. All right, don't lean forward too much. Stay nice and tall. Going into your lunge, hinge, row, I'll hold 15s. So we'll alternate front lunge, then hit that bent over row, and then other side lunge. So shoulders back, lunge it here, into the bent over row, hinge, row, other side lunge, hinge, row, good. Other side lunge, hinge, row. Setting those down, I'll grab fives for my plie bicep serve. These add up, you don't have to go very heavy. Plie squat, serve at the top. Here we go, drop it low, serve. Don't throw the weights out, place them out in front of you. Right at chest height there, okay? Well, a little lower than chest, I guess rib height. Rib height is better. Going back to the top. I'll grab 15s this time for my sumo squat curl press. Remember, you're gonna pulse at the bottom. So feet are wide, but toes face more to the front, a slight turn out. So we drop and pulse, curl and press. Good, into that front lunge, hinge row. All right, I'll stick with 15s. It's gonna be whatever you can lunge with probably, maybe whatever you can row. Let's lunge it here. Into the hinge, row, up. Other side lunge, hinge, and row.
into the bicep serve with a plie. I'm going to stick with fives here. Palms face the ceiling. Knees track over the toes. Let's drop low and press. Round three. All right, back to the top. Going into our squat pulse, curl press with my 15s. Wider stance and drop. Low and pulse, curl and press, boom. I'm really keeping my core engaged as I curl and press. Right, I don't want to swing my back forward and push the weights up with my lower back. I want to use those biceps and shoulders. <clears throat> go up to 20s for my lunge hinge row. I feel like that will be challenging but doable. Starting with my lunge into the hinge row. Boom. Other side lunge. And finishing off this circuit with the plie bicep serve with my fives. And then our three minute AMRAP for cardio. All right, stick your chest out, drop it low. Here, serve. Little biceps, a little front shoulder there. Of course, core as well has to activate when those weights are in the front. You've got about a 30 second water break here. So take a look at the screen. Those are the three exercises, 10 reps each. You're just gonna cycle through them for three minutes. Okay, we've got three minutes on the clock. You're just gonna count your own. You could switch when I switch. I'm starting with the 10 jacks, 10 squats, 10 burpees, all right? Squat jumps rather. Here we go. 10. Ten squat jumps or squats. And ten burpees. You can modify this if you wish and walk it out.
I'm just using push-up handles here to support my wrists. Of course, you could do this on a bench or something stable. I'm going back to the top. 10. Whew. 10 burpees for me. Go at your pace. to the top. You got about 30 seconds left. Walk it out. You have a 30 second rest here. So keep it walking. Take a look at the screen. There's the next compound strike set. Walk it out. Stay with me in recovery. Okay. Sorry, about 45 seconds break. Of course, pause if you need a longer one. All right. Ready? Let's go. Grabbing my 12s for my reverse lunge hammer curl. You're gonna curl at the top. We're gonna to alternate that reverse. I'm gonna stand sideways just for length here. Shoulders back, drop your knee, drop it low. Curl right here, other side, low and curl. All right, stay tall in your torso here. So try to go straight up and down, okay? And remember when you're holding the heavier weights, don't let it slip down to your fingertips. Try to hold it more in that meaty part of your hand. That's gonna help prevent that tennis elbow that we can often get when holding heavier weights. I'll be heading to the ground next. I'm gonna grab my 15s for the chest press. Chest press bicycle. Eliminate the bike if you need, okay, if that's too tricky to do both. Otherwise, over the chest, push the back in the ground. And we press and cycle, slow and controlled. You'll stay down here for an ab move next, so don't bother getting up yet. We'll hit that plank walkout, bear walk. Are you pushing your back into the ground? I didn't think so. <laughs> really try to do a posterior pelvic tilt there. 
So we're gonna walk hands out and then feet in. You could just modify a plank from the knees here if you don't wanna do the walks, okay? Otherwise, you're here to start. Let's walk it out. Front, front, back, back. The legs come in, in, back, back, front. With the hands, in, with the legs. Try to bring your hands directly back under your shoulders, okay? Of course, the farther out you walk, the more challenging it can be. But make sure your mat's not gonna slip on you. Let's stand back up and into your lunge curl. I'm gonna switch those 15s now since they're here. And I can curl 15s, I can. I'll do it. Alternate the lunge and drop it low. Curl. Good, on your back. Let's go into the chest press bicycle. Over the chest and work. Press it here. Wrists are locked in neutral, not bent back. And try not to bounce your arms off the floor. So you can come down to that hover position but don't use momentum from the floor to propel the weight up. You push with your chest. Nice, flip it. Let's go back into the plank. Walk and bear walk. Okay. Or mod from the knees. And walk it front, back, legs come in and back. Round three, back to the lunge curl. Nice and tall, drop it low, curl. Very good. 
Take it down for the chest press. That reverse lunge with these weights get, gets my heart rate up. Over the chest, then cycle. Press it here. Push your back into the ground. You don't want that arched back. You can keep your legs higher if you need to, right? You could be up here and that might help. Let's flip it for the plank. One more here. And then we're going into that arm wrap again, which I found quite fun, to be honest. 10 reps, totally doable. Three minutes, also doable. Push through the shoulder blades, walk it forward. Now feet come in. Stay in that hover position on the knees. So super low to the ground, bum is down. That's it. Really feeling my lower abs here. That's good. Oh, Nelly, are you done? Yeah, okay, three minutes. There's the AMRAP, 10 each. You go your pace, I'll go mine, and we will sweat together. <laughs> Starting with that side frog shuffle, okay? Each time you'll count as one, so we'll do 10 into abductor jumps, into star jumps. It's gonna be tremendous. Here we go for 10. So one, two, three. Into 10 abductor jumps, click the heels. Mod with a squat. Ten star jumps, jack to mod. You walk it out if you need. Go when you're ready.
Walk it out. Wow, that was a tough one. All right, full 45 here. So why don't you bring the heart rate down before our next compound strength set. Ignore that beep, keep walking. Of course, you can pause if you need a longer rest. Double inhale through the nose, slow exhale. Everything is compounding now, so we're gonna give you just a few more seconds here. Another 10 seconds. All right, you're gonna pause if you need a longer rest. I'll start with my lunge hinge. I'll call halfway, I'm holding 15s. So lunge position, we'll hit the lunge first, then you'll hinge forward at the waist and hit that deadlift. Nice and tall, drop it here, low, lift, hinge, back is flat, low, up, If you're too tippy for the hinge part, just stick with the static lunge. Switch legs. And we lunge, hinge, that's it. Love that one. Going into your squat lateral combo. I'm just gonna hold fives. We're gonna lateral raise, then hit the squat and front raise. Here we go, out to the side. Squat, front, and stand. Lateral, squat, front, stand. So those down, I'm taking 12s to the ground, tricep extension with a flutter, kick, eliminate the flutter if you'd like. All right, one leg up, one leg down, and we'll alternate so everything is down and up. Push your back into the ground here. And the only part of the arm that's bending is the elbow here. Shoulder stays straight and still. Okay, let's go to the top. Round two, back to your lunge hinge. I'm gonna hold a 20, or 20s rather, plural. I'll call half, drop it low, and hinge. Switch legs. Mm, I love that one. Into the squat. Back to the fives for me. That's heavy enough on this guy. Start with your lateral raise and squat. 
front and stand. Oh, that was hard. Hard for some reason. Back down to the ground with my 12s. Tricep extension with the flutter. All right, alternate the legs. Let's go for one more round, shall we? Back to my 20s. Okay. Lunge hinge. I just love the stretch on the hinge here. Feels good in that hamstring. And my glute, love it. Switch. <sighs> Yikes. That was work. Okay, back to the fives. Lateral squat, front raise. Last one, I'm gonna go with my 15s on the ground for my flutter tricep extension. 15s will feel like work. Here we go, slow. Okay, good, good. You've got one more AMRAP. Do it, okay? I know you don't feel like it. You may not. It's gonna be a good one though, and you won't regret it. All right, 
Pause if you need a longer rest, otherwise, let's go final three minutes. You've got ice skaters. We're gonna do 10 per side, so 20 in total. Frog squats, and then snowboarders here. Oh, that one's gonna be hard. Ice skate, let's go. So 20 in total, 10 a leg. That's halfway for me. And frog squats for 10. Snowboarders for 10 in total. Ice skaters. Halfway for me. Frog squats. Twenty seconds left. Snowboarders in three, two, one and done. Walk it out, walk it out. Holy Hannah, you've moved daily. That was a hard finisher. Nice work, everyone. All right, let's bring the heart rates down a bit. Just ignore that. Walk it out. Okay, don't stand still and don't immediately lie on the ground. We don't want the blood to pool. We're gonna do some of that physiological sigh. So double inhale through the nose, slow exhale. Stay with me, here we go. Again, deep inhale. And slow exhale. It's a deep inhale, and then you inhale a little bit more at the top. One more here. And slow. Okay, nice work. Smash the like button if you enjoyed the workout, but stay tuned for a stretch if you can. I enjoyed that, I really, really did. Let's start in a quad stretch right here. Grab your shoelaces, bring them back, lengthen through that quad, lean back if you can. Oh, that was good. Actually, really enjoyed the three minute AMRAP. Hated it in the middle, loved it right now. <laughs> you too? I know, like in the middle of some of those, I was like, oh my lanta, why did you put these two back to back? But I honestly feel like cardiovascular wise, because I was sick, and I'm, I'm recovered now, but like just, 
I just haven't challenged my cardio respiratory system very much in the last three weeks. So I wanted to do it, but then I also didn't want to do it. I really had to talk myself in instead of talking myself out this morning to this workout. Um, but a different format helped me because variety, spice of life and such. <laughs> um, so when I think, okay, there's something new, something different, you know, a climb that I haven't hiked before, a road I haven't been on, and a workout I haven't done, a format I haven't used, that makes me go, okay, let's give this a try. I don't know about you, but it really does help me to stay in the pocket with things that are more challenging, right? Especially, like I don't love, love cardio. I love how I feel right now, but I don't love engaging in it in the moment. Um, until the endorphins start to flood, then I'm like, yes, queen, go. <laughs> but thinking about it does not give me uh, dopamine. Isn't that interesting though? Because you know we, we gravitate towards things that give us a dopamine flood when we anticipate um, engaging with them. So that's why things like you know, drugs and alcohol and sex and gambling and shopping addiction can really drive us to those addictions because we get such a huge dopamine flood anticipating the joy or relief or momentary pleasure we'll have from X, Y, and Z. Now, we don't get the same anticipatory dopamine flood, most of us anyway, from thinking about doing something hard <laughs> like this, right? Because the, the after effects, the afterglow, the endorphins, they don't come until right now, right? Now we feel awesome. Now we feel great. But we know that we have to go through the challenging part first in order to feel like that. And so this is the rub. The challenging part is the friction, the limbic friction. Dr. Um, Huberman talks about that as being the limbic friction where we just, we really have to struggle with ourselves in order to, um, you know, get up and get going. <laughs> Let's put a hand behind the back. Big stretch here for torso and chest. But... That's where I love what Mel Robbins says, the five, four, three, two, one, you just do it. You just do it. You've got to talk yourself in instead of talking yourself out. And sometimes it's just about taking action and putting the one foot in front of the other, getting the runners on, your shoes on, getting downstairs, hitting play on the YouTube video, picking up a weight, doing the first five minutes, and then we start to feel different. So if you are experiencing that, I mean, you're here now, so obviously you push through it, which well done, but there'll be mornings where you don't feel like it. Try that five, four, three, two, one magic. It really is. It's something about counting backwards, she says, that triggers different parts of our brain to go, okay, we're gonna override the system that says we don't wanna do this and we're just gonna do the thing. And um, yeah. You, don't, you won't regret it. You're here now going, I feel good. I'm glad I did it. You know, I'm better for it. Uh, but just hold on to the fact that you will feel good. Those endorphins will come, right? Uh, the byproduct will be there within your body and your health. But sometimes you've got to push through the hard parts first. All right, thanks for joining. Don't forget, we do have our membership, which we talk about all these things, lots of coaching, lots of workout, lots of structure within the membership there. Click or tap right there to join, and I'll see you all in the next workout.